Do you really need a special tensor chip from the likes of Google for their specific AI features to work on the Pixel 6 Pro and is it really worth it? Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And on the right hand side, we have the Pixel 6 Pro powered by Tensor. On the left, we have the Poco F1 powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. The Poco F1 right now is running a custom ROM, which makes Google's servers believe that this here is the Pixel 6 Pro, which is why we have the recorder application working without any issues. We have interpreter mode, we have message typing, all of those fancy AI features working on the POCO F1, but what we are trying to check out over here is, is the Tensor chip really worth it? Do you really need a special chip by Google for those AI and voice assistant typing features to work? Now, of course, there is an issue which is clearly visible on the Pixel 6 Pro. Every time I say the word Google, the AI lady kicks in. There it is one more time and it has now stopped and super surprisingly, quick phrases is disabled so this is something which they do need to figure out here it is quick phrases is disabled and every time i say the word google it kicks in the assistant lady fires up now it is not very surprising but it was firing up earlier so definitely some work needs to be done on the ai side but let us go ahead and compare the speeds and whether it is really worth to have the special tensor chip for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. So for our first test, we are translating a YouTube video with live caption enabled and we also have live translate enabled. So clearly live translate and live caption on the tensor powered Pixel 6 Pro did kick in faster. Now, let us see if we have any issues with the live translate and live caption working on any of those well i think in this case both of them seem to be equally fast so not like a major difference over here but for the initial one the tensor powered pixel 6 pro did start the process faster than the non-tensor powered poco f1 which is running a custom rom replicating it to be the pixel 6 pro next thing we are trying over here is how the messages assistant typing is going to work clear clear huh clear all so the tensor powered pixel 6 pro performed a clear all clear all yep so there it is you can see that the tensor powered pixel 6 pro is definitely 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 faster than the non-tensor powered POCO F1. Hey, what is the weather today? Yep, there is definitely a speed difference which you can clearly notice and that is why you have the Pixel 6 Pro which is powered by Google's tensor chip. Clear all. Clear all. Yep, there it is. You can clearly see the difference and that is why they say Google did make this chip for the AI and that difference is clearly visible over here. Next test we can perform is for the recorder application. So here it is. We are recording right now. I wonder how the weather is going to be tomorrow. And here it is. I'm trying to, you know, record a video comparing the tensor powered pixel 6 pro to the non tensor powered poco f1 which right now is running a custom rom which is trying to replicate it as the pixel 6 pro and as per this specific test so far the tensor chip is winning because the ai is pretty good and it detected the poco f1 whereas the POCO F1 detected it as the power board. So yes, my 
accent my english accent the way i talk in english is being represented correctly by the tensor powered pixel 6 pro but the non tensor powered poco f1 is not doing bad either but yes there is definitely the need for that specific tensor chip in this exynos powered tensor by google or made by google so yeah as you can see the tensor powered chip is definitely doing much better than the non-tensor powered poco f1 which is surprisingly powered by the qualcomm snapdragon 845 but it's not doing bad either so let's start this video ko. hey how are you how is life going on मैं बढ़िया हूं आप कैसे हैं आप बताइए क्या चल रहा है एंड देयर इट इज यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट द पोको f1 डेफिनेटली हैज अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ लैग वेयर एज द टेंसर वन नोस दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टॉप्ड एंड दिस हियर इज अनदर एग्जांपल ऑफ द सेम थिंग तो जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं पोको एफ वन ने एक पूरा मैसेज स्किप कर दिया है उसको पता ही नहीं चला कि कब मैं चुप हो गया सो येप देर इट इज यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट वाई द टेंसर चिप वॉज नीडेड एंड वाई गूगल वर्क विद सैमसंग टू क्रिएट दिस एक्सेनॉस पावर्ड टेंसर चिप और जैसा कि आप देख ही सकते हैं कि इनका ए अभी भी इतना समझदार नहीं है कि वो मेरा एक्सेंट सही से समझ पाए बट जो है वो है एंड देर इट इज पीप्स नाउ दैट वी हैव सीन ऑल द टेस्ट वट इज माई ओपिनियन माई ओपिनियन इज येस डेफिनेटली वी डू नीड द स्पेशल टेंसर चिप बाय गूगल फॉर द पिक्सल सिक्स एंड द पिक्सल सिक्स प्रो हेर इट इज द असिस्टेंट लेडी इज बैक अगेन एंड इन दैट केस अगेन द ट्रांसक्रिप्ट डिड स्टॉप सो येस देर आर सम नेगल्स हेर एंड देयर बट डेफिनेटली टेंसर इज फास्टर दैन द नॉन टेंसर पावर्ड पोको एफ वन एंड दैट विल डो इट फॉर दिस वीडियो होप माई वीडियो हेल्प यू लाइक्स शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब्स आर अप्रिशिएटेड फीडबैक एंड कॉमेंट मोर देन वेलकम सी यू when i see you